Good morning, good morning. We praise God this morning for how he allowed us to come in the doors one more time. We're just glad to be here on this morning, another Sunday that the Lord has allowed us to see. One more time, one more time, one more day, one more day of blessings. One more day of just praising the Lord. We thank God for those who are here. We thank God for those who are watching this morning. And if you're at home, we just ask you to gather the family around your computer or your television and join us on this morning, this first Sunday of November. Oh, you yeah, started out with us at the beginning of January, but I'm not here with us today. But we praise and thank God that he allowed us to wait one more time. Yet in our right minds, yet with our hearts and minds staying on him, we praise God for that alone. God is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be praised. Oh, glory to God. Praise and worship leaders, God. We ask you to anoint their voices, God. 
we pray in your name and amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah, we bless the Lord in this house on today. He is a good God, He is a merciful God, He is kind, He is a good And we bless His name on today. There is an old song that says, At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burdens of my heart just rolled away. It was there by faith that I received my sight, and now I am happy. Not sometimes. But all the day. <laughs> I'm happy all the day. Hallelujah. That's the song that's ringing in my spirit on this morning. I just want to sing a little bit of it. it says, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light and the burn of my heart. Oh, roll away, roll away. Oh, yeah, one day.
of Judah. You are my Lord and King. Yes, and we give yes. God praise, hallelujah. Yes. Because he is our Lord. He is our King. He reigns over mm -hmm. everything.
Jesus told you that you got to go higher in the Lord. But you have the victory. The victory to conquer any trial or tribulation. You have the victory. Victory. Somebody needs to know this morning that you have victory even on your job. Amen. Some people are being written up on their jobs for poor, for poor performance. But I'm here to tell you that you shall have the victory. Yes. Victory. Some of your bosses are giving you a hard time. You shall have victory. Yes. Some of you are having problems at home with husbands, wives, significant others, but you shall have the victory. Yes. You shall have it if you believe it. You shall have the victory. You gotta know that you're gonna have to cast all your cares on him and on him alone. Yes. Not the man, not man in this world, but God. Yes, yes. You can make it. Oh, yes. You can make it if you try. Yes. You can make it. Yes, yes, yes. Some are feeling in this season that we are in that you can't make it. But I'm here to challenge you on today. For every burden that you are having to bear, you will be able to carry the on. Yes, yes. You will carry that cross on. Some of us, are, some of us today, have a cross that we are carrying that is very heavy. A lot of us have gifts that don't understand why attacks come because it is a cross that you carry. If God could carry that cross, yes, yes. if God could take all of those beatings, Amen. they will. Wow. 
were born, when you came into this world, you had nothing. Amen. You were butt naked. You were
We're praying for the country that we live in because we are living in times that I've never seen before in my entire life. Yes, yes. So much hate. So as Christians, we got to love everybody. Everybody. As Christians, that, that's, that's our duty. We got to love people that don't look like us. Amen. We got to love on them to show them that there's a God in us. Yes. Amen. 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 Show that we are the light of this world. We are the light. So show love to your brothers and sisters that don't look like you. Show love and kindness to your brothers that look like you. Amen. 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 And we thank God for the pastor of this house, Mr. Bella. Y'all give him a hand. Y'all keep him lifted up your prayer. He's going to sign it for God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Y'all, if, if, if y'all giving God praise like that, God said, oh. You're not praising Ellis. Hallelujah. You're not praising the pastor. Amen. But if you can give God your best praise, how would that best praise look? If you could stand on your feet right now. Amen. If you could stand up and forget about who is around you at this moment. If you could forget about you and just know that now you're getting ready to connect to God with your voice. Yes. You're getting ready to connect to God with your praise. How would that praise sound? So the scripture provides that the highest praise is hallelujah. hallelujah. And if you cannot say hallelujah, you can say glory be to God. And if you cannot even say glory be to God, you can just holler and just yell. But what is your highest praise? So just for a few seconds, all I'm asking is that you give God what is due to him. You give God what he deserves, and that is your praise. Open your mouth and praise him! Also, the hundred part of the money 
and of the corn, the wine, and the oil, that ye extract of them. And if I would use for a thought to leave with you, I want you to just look to whoever's next to you and just yell back at them or wherever you can see somebody and just say, I need justice. I need justice. Have anybody ever done you wrong? And the system failed you? Come on. I need justice. Justice. You ever had a situation where you say, why did this happen to me? That should not have happened to me. I need justice. And I'm not on a grand juror. And the Breonna case on Tuesday took issue with Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Kemmer. Public characterization of the panel that preceded on last month. This juror stated that after a judge denied Cameron's motion seeking secrecy in the case, following the grand jury rare petition to speak publicly, he presented evidence to the panel that in September indicted former Louisville officer Brett Hankerson on three counts of wanton endangerment mm -hmm. in the March police raid that left Brianna Taylor dead. Hankerson who fired the bullets into the to Taylor's apartment from the outside was indicted for endangering Taylor's neighbor yeah. good. and not her. Good. No one was charged and Brianna's death. September 23rd, a news conference. Cameron said the investigation found that the grand jury agreed that two officers opened fire with Taylor's doorway, killing her and justified because her boyfriend returned fire. Because of that, Cameron says six possible homicide charges under Kentucky law was not applicable in this particular case. But the grand jury did not agree. The jury said that they was not given an opportunity by the attorney to weigh the homicide charges. And the jurors petitioned last month asking the judge to speak publicly about the case. They accused Cameron of using grand jurors as a shield to deflect the accountability and responsibility for these decisions. Somebody say, I need justice. I need justice. The court system may not always determine the right thing to do, but I need justice. I want you to understand what is happening here in America. Humans are set apart for all, from all other creatures as the image of God. And humans are equal before God and should treat everyone with fairness and equality. Justice is all humans created equal and should be with dignity, no matter who you are. And keeping redefining good and evil to our own advantage, we are redefining good and evil to our own advantage. Well. Romans 1 and 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish I had some witnesses Amen. here this morning. This may not be what you're looking for, but I want you to understand we need justice. We rather listen to gossip and noise before hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
The one that is able to save you, we're too busy complaining about stuff that does not lead to salvation. Right. But it causes chaos. Amen. Amen. Among the people of God. It causes havoc. It causes distractions. Oh God, help me this morning. And it changes the truth into a lie that we cannot even worship God in the spirit and in truth because we have changed the climate. Yes, yes. Amen. Everyone got to be accountable for what you do. Amen. Who is in your ears? Look to your neighbors and neighbor who's in your ear. Who is in your ear? Who is calling you? Is causing you to be a distraction. Who caused you to change your mind and take your whole demeanor and your mind off of Jesus? Right. We prioritize our job more than we prioritize Jesus. We prioritize our family more than we prioritize Jesus. We prioritize everything. But who is number one? Jesus. We have served the creature more than the creator. Who calls you? Some people use their advantage at the expense of others. We see this taking place in communities. We see this taking place in the church. We see this taking place in the nations. Showing injustice. The church is caught up in a tradition. Watch this. The church is caught up in tradition of having church, but cannot feel the glory of God when they come to church. Why do I come to church when I don't feel his glory? Why do I get dressed and why do I put on my pants? Why do I get ready to go to church and not expect the glory of God? When you come into the presence of the Holy Ghost, when you come into the presence of God, you ought to have an expectation that God is going to deliver me out of some mess. Oh, I wish I had some more witnesses today. And we moan and we cry and we become frustrated over stuff that don't even make no sense. We lose sleep over stuff that don't even deserve our attention. Yes, yes. If you really think about it, I remember having to uh, be disturbed with some craziness. Somebody say craziness. Because Crazy. all of us go through some craziness. Amen. Amen. And, and, and I was losing some sleep over that craziness. Crazy. Amen. And then I woke up the next morning after I finally went to sleep. I woke up and then I thought about it. I said, that was crazy. Why did I even lose sleep? over crazy. And the crazy couldn't save me. The crazy couldn't even deliver me. So why did I give in to the... And sometimes we give in to the stuff that have no power to deliver you. We give in to stuff that have no power to heal you. But the Almighty God said, I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. I'm going to be And God is saying now, I don't care what people say, God is saying now in this time and in this era, he said, I need your attention. And I want to pause there for a moment. I want you to look to whoever's next to you. God say that he needs your attention. You just let him know. God needs your attention. Let me hear you. God needs your attention. God is saying, I am still in the saving business. Amen, amen. Some have lost jobs and some have lost their income and some have been locked up in their houses for months and months. Yes. Some are going through depression. Yes. Yes. And depression is real. That's it. When you isolate yourself from people, guess what? That, 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 that mind begins to keep moving. You, that, that mind don't stop. You begin to think about some stuff you never thought about in over 50, 30, 20 years. And it comes right up in your spirit. The bad stuff. Somebody say bad stuff. It all comes up. That's why we're going through there's people going through depression. Suicide rate is up. 
People are taking so much, so much medication for depression now. It is unbelievable. We have isolated ourselves. And, and, and then as I pass through the city of Sarasota, and I pass through the city of Bradenton this morning, it is so ironic. I look into the parking lots uh -huh. of churches that don't look, and of the membership that don't look like me. And the parking lot was full. Yeah. Of those that don't look like us over there, the parking lot was full. Somebody needs to understand where your help comes from. It doesn't all come from a mess, but it comes from the glory. Because when nobody else can help you, that's why David said, I look to the hills from which cometh my help. I'm going to look to the hills from which cometh my help. I'm not going to go to the bishop. I'm not going to go to the prophetess. I'm not going to go to the worship leader. But I'm going to look to the hills from which cometh my help. You got to understand, everybody cannot help you. Only Jesus can do this. Somebody say, only Jesus. Moses said to the people, fear ye not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Moses came up to the Red Sea. Pharaoh behind him. The Red Sea in front of him. Pharaoh behind him wanting to kill him and the Israelites. And they came to the sea and they saw body of water. How are we going to cross? The people, the first thing the people did, they began to murmur, they began to grumble, they forgot about who took them out of Egypt. Yes, yes. Moses, you brought us here. Moses, you brought us in to die. And he said, fear not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're having trouble making your mortgage for next month, fear not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. If you're having issues with your health, stand still. Fear not. And all Moses had to do, a lot of times, you have the solution with you. Yeah. All Moses had to do is use what he had. Yes, yes. He had a rod in his hand. Mm -hmm. And all he had to do was lift the rod. And the east wind came and blew and separated the sea. Yeah. And all of them began to walk on dry land. God wanted me to tell you this morning to use what you have. But what he has given you is your way of deliverance. Yes, yes. Somebody say I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out of this. Somebody say I'm coming out of this. Somebody say it again. I am coming out of this. I am coming out of this. In the book of Nehemiah, the scripture was telling us that Nehemiah had to come against the people. They took their food. They took all of their land and they taken their water. There was no justice there. But at the end, God provided for his people. Nehemiah had to speak up and say, wait a minute. God, people deserve justice. How many have a voice in here? Amen. It's going to come a time where we have, when, when is election day? November, November what? Uh -huh. Amen. We have a voice. We need justice. 
God has given you a way of escape. Yes. God say, I will be with you. Let us stand. Let us stand. So fear not. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. I want to encourage everyone to vote. I'm taking this platform now to make sure you vote. Somebody said, well, Pastor, I don't like nobody. I don't like none of them. I said, if you don't like none, none of them. <laughs> and so I don't like none of them. <sighs> if you don't vote, you're not using your voice. Mm -hmm. Amen. I need justice. Nehemiah provided justice. Through Moses, he provided justice through God. Yes. I need justice. Y'all can come a little bit closer and still social distance. Just come a little closer as we pray. I need the Against past trauma that has happened in lives on 
today, God. Oh, God, let the trauma that has happened in my lives be cast out into the sea. Cast out into the sea, God, that we shall forget. Oh, God, that men and women don't mean to do us harm, but there is love in this land. Oh, God, somebody standing here today that feels as though they are not loved. Lord, we come asking you, God, to wrap your arms around them, God. Lord, so we're praying that a comforter be sent, God, right now, God. Lord wants that individual to know that he sees your tears. Oh, yes, God. Oh, God, wipe away every tear, God. Wipe it away, God. Wipe the tears from our eyes, God, from the past. Oh, God, because we want to go into the newness. Oh, God, the trauma cannot hold us down. Trauma will not keep us bound down. Chains are broken. The trauma will not bind us up that we can't move forward. Chains are coming down. Chains are being broken. Chains of incest. Chains of molestation. Chains of... Oh, God, we're not going to let the trauma keep us standing still. Oh, God, we shall not sink in the sand, but, God, we're going to stand on that solid rock, and that rock is you, God. We're going to lean and depend on you, God, on today, God. Trusting and depending on you, God. Church 